Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get a PS2 emulator on your iOS device. This is the complete version of the emulator, allowing you to enjoy all your favorite retro games right on your phone. I'll guide you through the entire process step by step, making it easy to follow along. Make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important instructions. Before we get started, let's go through a couple of essential steps. First, open your device settings and go to General. Tap on Background App Refresh and make sure that either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data is enabled. This setting allows the app to update and function properly in the background. Next, go back to the Settings menu and select Battery. Ensure that Low Power Mode is turned off. Disabling this option is important as it can affect the app's performance. Once you've completed these steps, you're ready to proceed with the app installation. Let's get started. Once you have completed the initial checks, we can proceed. Open your browser and navigate to findplugin.com, a trusted site that hosts various modded applications. Search for PS2 emulator and select it from the results. A detailed page will appear with information such as the number of downloads and community ratings. Click on the Download Now button and the system will begin downloading and installing the app. This process is quick and you should soon see a confirmation message indicating a successful installation. If the message doesn't appear, it might mean the server needs updating and additional files need to be downloaded. Don't worry, this step is straightforward with clear instructions provided on the screen. Once this step is completed, the system will download the necessary files and the installation will be finalized. I've already installed it myself and everything works seamlessly and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you enjoyed it and everything is working well for you, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you encounter any issues or have questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist you. Thank you and see you in my next video.